Plow drivers were out in full force today, so most of the roads are pretty clear by now. The problem is they are still wet. And with the temperatures falling this evening, it could make for some slick spots. News 8's Josh Scheinbloom has been checking on road conditions all night. He joins us live. Josh? And in Darren, city officials say that the roads are clear here in New Haven, but it is still all hands on deck. One of the big reasons for that has to do with the cold temperatures that are rolling in and trying to combat icy conditions out there on the roads. A day full of snow meant a busy end of the week for people like Josh Adams. I'm a plow guy, man, making it happen, getting the streets safe for everybody out here. Moving this dirty diaper, wet, heavy snow. When we met Josh Friday afternoon, he was wrapping up a 14-hour day behind the wheel. How does this compare to the last storm? Uh, this is like a phone-in. Last storm was uh, was 19 hours, and it was awful. As soon as you plowed it, it all came back with, this, with the wind. The good news for Josh is he was able to head home when the sun went down, which wasn't the case for many of those employed by the city of New Haven. Passed overnight with moving more snow, along with salting the roadways that crews had begun plowing out at 4 a.m. Rick Fontana is New Haven's Director of Emergency Operations. Our big thing is going to be get the snow to the curb so people can come downtown, so people can park at home, and that's going to be our goal. It's going to take a little bit of time. Though. But if this storm was actually easier this time around is definitely in the eye of the beholder. For one thing, this time the snow was heavy, it was wet, and at least in New Haven, it definitely caused some people some issues. In New Haven alone, this round of winter weather is blamed for knocking down 43 power lines. Consequently, at least 132 homes, Fontana says, lost power. That's, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Fontana adds the roads in New Haven are clear of snow tonight. The same can't be said, however, for every sidewalk. I actually started, I think, right after a step snow. So. We're shovels. It's heavy. I had to stop every five minutes. I'm older than I look. Snow blowers. It even brushes. A little uh, pain in the butt, a little wet and heavy. Are all being employed to ensure the snow won't be an inconvenience through the weekend. Josh calls that a true team effort. City New Haven does a great job. They got a monster job to do. And, uh... The city has also put in place their winter weather protocol. That means that if you're in need of a warm place to go, there are warming centers that will be open to make sure that nobody freezes outside. And remember that there is a parking ban that is in effect. It will go tomorrow from 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum. News 8.